Hey guys, a very good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel for the another video. Today we are going to discuss a very short and important topic and that is how to validate the large, uh, um, uh, you know, backup files that we have. Let's say there is a client that you have and this particular client, let's say it's a SQL uh, client that you have and you're backing up the databases from there. Now this particular DB, let's say has a size of 2 TB, somewhere around 2 TB, okay? Now you have taken a backup for this particular client, for this particular database to your media agent. It's been written to your library, a backup job has been created and this 2 TB of DB backup is been written over here on your library. Now, at some point of time, customer want to make sure that the backup job that you have taken, they want to validate that, like they want to validate whether that particular job is fine for the restoration we will be able to restore the database from there or not now if you want to do a test restore from a job and you want to validate that through the test restoration you will require 2 tb of free space on this particular client right free 2 tb space you will require to test that particular restoration because the size of the database is 2 tb and might be that's not uh, uh, you know a possible case in your environment might be the server is not having that much of free space available then how you can perform the test restoration of course you can do a restoration on some other server which has a 2 tb of space in there but then there will be a lot of if and but coming up but there is a very simple option that has been given by the comval for the restore validation if you use that particular option i'm going to show you that but if you use that particular option in that case media agent is going to read that particular 2tb data it is going to send that particular data to those part that particular sql client now when the client receive that particular data let's say it's received that data in the form of blocks okay so when this particular sql server or the client receive that particular data it will just validate that particular data like it will just uh, match the uh, size with the header of that particular block and once that particular block has been validated it will be discarded it will not be written anywhere that means you don't require any 2 tv of free space on the sql sql the client the destination client will simply just read the data that's it it will like uh, i will i will say it will just validate that particular block and then it will discard it in this way if that particular job get complete, the restoration, uh, uh, restore validation job get complete, then that means that uh, uh, restoration validation has been completed. You will be able to restore that, uh, restore the data from that particular job, as well as you will be able to get the idea about how much throughput you will get it on that particular restoration job. Now, let me quickly show you that how you can validate this. Let's say this is a client that I have, and for this particular client, there is a sub client that we will be having, and this particular sub client has already we have already taken one backup job for the sub client. So, let me check the job history for that particular uh, uh, sub client so this is a job let's say i want to validate this particular uh, job the restoration validation i want to run for this particular job so, or this particular data so what you can do is you can right click on this and say browse and restore say view content and once you click on view content select the data that you want to restore okay and remember that this is a uh, restore validation is applicable only for few agents like file system and database agents not for all so let's select this particular folder i want to restore that one and say recover all selected now on this window where it says restoration options coming up in that particular window on the bottom there is an option coming up advance and under the journal there is an option called validate only if you select this option and say okay now you can define the other things where you want to restore the data to let's say i want to restore the data to the c drive itself i can say new folder coming getting created over there okay so where of course the files will not be restored but it still required all the input parameters for the restoration so i will i want to restore the data on that particular folder and say okay now as soon as you click on okay in the job controller you will see the operation type it's a restore validation job coming up okay it is going to send the blocks on the client client is going to discard those particular blocks once it validate that 
and that's it. If this restore validation get completed successfully, that means your restoration is successful. There is no problem with the restoration. You will be able to perform the restoration in the future. If you double click on this one, you can see that, you know, uh, how much average throughput you will be getting on this particular job. Uh, you can see the properties and all that. It got completed. So if you go into the progress, you can see the average throughput that you have got for the restoration. This is the average throughput you have got. This is the total time that you have uh, uh, in which the data will be restored. You will be able to see that. Everything will be same. You will be able to get the information. It just the data is not being restored. Okay, so in this way you can restore. You can validate the backup that you have taken, whether that uh, a particular backup is suitable for the restoration or not. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today.